So, I guess let's present a question. Can an inanimate object be sexy? I would say yes. Uh, there's something very, very sexy about a nice quality leather holster. Especially one that works. I... Spoiler alert. I cannot stand inside the waistband carry. Uh, it drives me insane. And usually the problem is I don't like plastic up against my skin. Uh, it seems like so many holsters nowadays are made out of plastic. Uh, that's okay. I, I don't mind it. Uh, I think it's great. It's great weight reduction. Uh, it's size reduction. It's very durable. But I, I only carry it because a lot of times I don't have any other choice. I purchased this particular XDS uh, in January of 2016. So I've had it for a year now. And whenever I bought it, it was the essentials package. Uh, it, it just comes with your basic stuff. Doesn't come with a holster, doesn't come with anything. It just comes with your spare magazine and you're good to go. And so, uh, before that, on my other two XDSs, all I had was an uh, ankle rig, an outside, and a pocket. And so I went looking, trying to find something that I thought would work well for what I was doing. And I think I found a great compromise. This is the Outbags, inside the waistband holster. 100% made in the USA. And I can afford it. For those of you who don't know, if I carry, I normally carry uh, on a shoulder rig. Uh, the Galco Vice, I believe. Galco Classic. That's what I normally carry my Springfields in, is in a shoulder rig. Uh, I ride a lot of motorcycles, do a lot of extreme sports. Uh, don't really want something strapped to my hip, especially something that's not fastened. And so, whenever I bought this one, I went looking for a quality holster uh, that I could afford and that maybe, you know, if, if I didn't like it, I didn't have to keep it. Again, I'm not a huge fan of inside the waistband. And I was doing some shopping around, and one of the top results on Glamazon <laughs> is the Outbags uh, LOB2S. I will annotate that up at the top of the screen for you. But whenever I saw it, I was like, ah, you know, that, that might actually be what I'm looking for. Uh, it doesn't look too terribly expensive, but it looks like it's fairly well made. It looks looks just very attractive. I, I decided to go with black because that's the majority of what I wear. The pistol's black. It just works. Uh, I, I think that, you know, whenever I bought this XDS, I was a little low on funds. It was a fairly expensive purchase for me. And I, and I don't like the way that uh, the, the, the polymers treat the slide. Uh, usually after a few years, I'll start getting rubbed through on the slide. Uh, it was the same with my Glock, you know, and, and even my 1911 is showing some, some holster wear. Uh, that's why I usually like leather. It's, it's a little more pleasant. Uh, usually you have to pay more for it. Having said that, Top result on Amazon for a Springfield Army XDS is a $30 well-made holster. I'm super happy with this. I, I just couldn't be more pleased. The, I, I hem hot and hem hot and then I'm like, you know what? It's $30. I'll go for it. $30, guys, for quality construction. It is well-made. I've been carrying it for a month now. Uh, consistently, I mean every day, and it's still a little stiff. Uh, there's still some, uh, I don't know, you, you go to draw it sometimes and you can feel it want to grab just a bit, but it's much better, you can see. Fitment wasn't bad whenever it came in, it was a little tight, but it, it broke in very quick. I have no complaints. And I, I would like to, to point out, $30 is probably the cheapest leather holster that you're gonna find. I'm, I'm gonna throw in some screenshots. I'm gonna pull it up on my phone right now, actually. Uh, let's see here. 
Well, let's go on to Amazon and we'll scroll down. Hmm. All right. Uh, Concealment Express IWB Kydex. Look at that. Forty dollars. Let's see here. Uh, Cloak Tuck, one of the alien gears. That's fifty dollars. Uh, the Desantis, fifty-seven dollars. Again, that's not too terribly expensive, actually. Uh, but it is double the price of what you're getting or of what you're paying for. Let's see. Yeah, pretty much all fifty bucks and up. I'm not seeing anything. Oh, there you go. I actually own this one, the Galco Summer Comfort. Uh, $65 to $100, depending on where you get it. So, I don't think you have much to risk by getting this. Uh, I emailed uh, Outbags, and I asked them, I said, one, where is your leather from, and what is the stitching material? And, apparently, they use locally sourced leather. Uh, they use natural dyes. They use a nylon stitching. Uh, everything again is 100% made in the USI, uh, USA, and 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 then I decided to get on their website and let me read you their their mission statement or their about us. I, I clicked on about us and I wanted to see kind of what they were about. And let me let me sh tell you how this company takes themselves and why I think they're 100% wrong. They start out, this may come as a shock, but our family does not claim to make the best holsters on this planet because quite frankly our eyes are set on an entirely different goal instead we strive to provide premium holsters without the premium price we create no frills get the job done holsters for everyday carry for the everyman we firmly believe that the daily driver should reflect our customers daily lifestyles and sometimes a hundred dollar holster does not fit that picture I disagree I disagree 100 percent uh, from what I've seen so far, you do make one of the best holsters. Uh, and I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to buy a lot more from you guys. In fact, I've ordered a bunch more to test out for you bros. Uh, I think you guys are going to enjoy it. We've got a lot coming up. I could not disagree more with the way the Outbags uh, presented that statement. And here's why. I've had a lot of holsters. Uh, some good, some bad. And I've discovered that you don't always get what you pay for when it comes to holsters. There are a lot that just function, and that function well. And Outbags is one of those companies who understands their price point. They provide a quality material. They provide uh, what appears to be a quality product. And, and for the past month that I've actually railed on this thing, it has proven to be a quality product. I've, I've had no issues with it whatsoever. So I don't think that Outbag should sell themselves short. I, I don't like seeing that on a uh, on their on their site. I, I disagree with them wholeheartedly. Uh, you look at this and you see the quality in it. It's a and, and apparently they are changing some of their clips up. From what I understand, I will try to contact them more and, and see what the deal is. But everything on here is quality. The, the leather is good. Uh, the, the clip retains well. I beat on it today, which you're going to see the footage now. I hope so. Uh, Karen, would you please put that footage in, or at least remind me to, if this is one that I edit, or Robin, or whoever. Uh, if one of you would please throw that footage up right there. Put it right there, in that corner. You're going to put it in that corner, aren't you? Whatever, I don't care. Uh... But I railed on this thing today, and I've been railing on it for the past month, and I'm very happy with it. I, I really am. Uh, once it broke in, it was much more user-friendly, which is pretty typical of leather. And and i got to tell you that, that as far as leather holsters go, I'm happy. Uh, let's, well, here we go. Look. How about that? That's a Blackhawk. Uh, it's for my full-size Springfield. Got it sitting here, too. There you go, outside the waistband pancake. Guess what? Not even made in USA. Uh, this is an Italian leather holster. Uh, works really well. Beautiful leather. I paid for it. Trust me. Uh, this one was $65. It's attractive and it works. Is it worth $65? Probably. 
Uh, then shouldn't this one too? Shouldn't this one be worth every bit as much as that one? Uh, they're both very high quality leathers, I can tell by the way they fill. Uh, here's another option for the full size. How about that for inside the waistband? Yeah, that's a full size inside the waistband holster from Blackhawk again. And guess what? That little chunk of plastic costs the exact same price as that holster. Tells you how slim the uh, XDS is there. <laughs> No, I, you guys shouldn't sell yourself short. The, you make a phenomenal product at a fair price, and it's not just a fair price, and it's not just a fair product. That's what I want you guys to understand. Do not sell yourself short. You make the best holster that I've used in IWB so far, and I've seen a few others of yours. I'm going to go out and I'm going to buy them. I'm going to order a bunch more. Because I'm happy with the way this one worked, so I'm going to get your uh, uh, hybrid holsters, and I'm going to try them out. And if you ever come out with a nice leather shoulder holster, guess what? I'll try that one out too. I I got to tell you that that even if this was the same price as say that sixty to eighty dollar leather holster, I would still be completely pleased with my purchase. I would not feel like I got overcharged at all. Uh, 100% totally recommend this little guy. Uh, I will put links in the description below. Again, you're seeing the shooting. It's supposed to be over here, but I can guarantee you that Karen is going to put it over here. And if it's Robin, you know, she'll probably put it like down in here or something just to be mean. But I, I, I really am. I want you guys to uh, to maybe look into these look in the future for more reviews from me on these uh, the Outbags holsters uh, because they work and I like stuff that works uh, you guys know I've been critical of stuff that doesn't on here already and I know that's offended some people but I'm gonna call it like I see it every single time uh, this is something that's not gonna go away I'm gonna keep this one in my collection it's probably gonna continue to serve as an inside the waistband holster for this Springfield. Again, I hate inside the waistband carry, but this is very pleasant. Um, I don't always like to carry plastic inside the waistband. It is freaking uncomfortable, man. It pinches, it bites, it hurts. Period. Oh, let's see, what else do we want to talk about? We've talked about the price point, we've talked about the pros, uh, some cons. I don't really have one right now. I will say, actually, that we have a lot of leather up here. Uh, it's twice the thickness. I know you've done that for rigidity, and I'm sure there's other reasons why that's important to you. Uh, if you can maybe find some way to slim this holster down a bit. Nah, that's I, I can't even complain about that because at the price point, you guys have nailed it. You've given me something that's quality, that works, I love it. And, and because of that, I'm going to continue to buy from you. Uh, I would change your mission statement. Not to, uh, not that, uh, well, what'd you say? Oh, this may come as a shock, but our family does not claim to make the best holsters on this planet because, quite frankly, our eyes are set on an entirely different goal. I would change that mission statement. I would say that at the price point, you do make the best holsters on the planet. Uh, and I'm going to continue to test holsters for a while now, guys, so don't, don't, don't think I'm writing everyone else off if I happen to find one that I like more then I'll retract that statement but so far right now the Outbags is winning and I'm gonna continue to buy from you guys I really appreciate the uh, the work and effort you're a family-owned company and and so far you've been really wonderful to work with uh, I will say <laughs> bought this off Glamazon Prime. And guess what? Left-handed people, as you can tell, I am Southpaw. Left-handed people don't get this for Prime. What the hell? <laughs> Put it on Prime for me, guys. And then you got a solid 10 out of 10 product. Uh, guys, let me uh, let me tip the camera up here so you can you can see my glorious face. Oh, that's not the camera tilt. Damn it. Guys, thank you so much for coming along. This is the Parnell Project. We are still just getting warmed up. I have completely whitewashed my face with the uh, 
horrific lighting that I've got going on here to make sure that table stays well lit while I'm doing a review. Uh, I could not be more pleased with this product right now. I, I really am. I, I hope that the, someone sees this review and goes and supports a nice American company. Uh, they've been a pleasure to deal with, and I know I'm going to continue to deal with them because uh, they've just been phenomenal. Uh, as always, guys, good luck, God bless, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.